Hi everybody, this is Justina with Justina T Handmade. Uh, in today's video, I'm gonna show you uh, how I approach creating this cute reindeer version of the uh, bunny zipper pouch or pencil case. Uh, it's, it's a pencil case, it's a perfect size to use as a pencil case or any um, storage zipper pouch uh, the for your storage needs. Uh, and um, just editing uh, what we added on the front of the pouch we can create a more Christmas uh, theme uh, fun project and in this video I'm gonna show you how I go about doing it this pattern is a free pattern so you can access uh, the pattern pieces following the link in the description of the original bunny zipper pouch uh, in this video, I'm going to give you a little alternative instructions how to approach putting this pouch together, including how I created the reindeer face and uh, how to use the continuous zipper. Uh, for this project, I really use scrap materials. So uh, I had this piece of continuous zipper of only one side of the zipper. So I just wanted to use that. And I had some scraps uh, in my scrap bin for that I used for my front panels. And then I added a piece of green uh, back panel to give it a more Christmassy uh, look. Uh, in the video, I'm not showing you how to add this little ball, but when I finished the project, I just decided that it would be nice to add some green um, accent on the front of the uh, pouch as well. Like I said, this pattern is free, but if you would like to support my small business, uh, you can visit my Etsy store and you can um, purchase any patterns that I have there. Um, the link to my Etsy store is in the description box below and there should be a RQ code uh, showing up on your screen as well. Uh, if you don't need to purchase anything, you can use the thanks uh, option on YouTube to uh, give me a little tip for providing you with this free pattern. Uh, also, if you want to support my channel, please make sure to subscribe and to give it a like. And if you have any uh, crafty friends that may not know of my channel just yet, please make sure to share it with them. And now if you want to see how this cute reindeer face zipper pouch comes together please keep watching so we're gonna get our project started uh, i cut my front panels only so after i finish my whole front uh, of the pouch then i'm gonna use that template to cut my lining and my uh, outer back uh, so this those two uh, pattern pieces are provided in the bunny pouch uh, pattern so you can use that those templates uh, for my ears i just cut uh, just free-handed cut uh, those bunny ears out of felt and those are about inch and a quarter to by two inches in the size you can just do that just slightly around the uh, edges of uh, those uh, triangles and you're gonna be good to go uh, I have my scrap of my zipper tape number five because I just had this one long piece left I'm gonna uh, edit the way the pouch is together to show you if you do have those continuous uh, one side uh, zipper tape left how to use it uh, I have my outer back fabric ready uh, and I have my lining fabric prepped as well when I'm ready to cut. Uh, for my zipper, obviously I have my zipper pull and my zipper uh, end cap. I have my uh, brown one eighth of an inch uh, ribbon for my antlers. I have two little blue buttons for eyes and a, a cute red bead for my reindeer nose. First, after we have everything prepped, uh, we're gonna first uh, we're gonna start putting our pouch together uh, starting with the ears uh, i wanna create a little fold so the ear has a little dimension so i'm folding it uh, by about one third uh, and i'm gonna use pins to hold that 
in place. I'm going to repeat that on the other ear, just the other way around. And now that I have my ears ready, uh, I'm going to figure out the best placement. So I think that should be about right. So I'm going to flip my ears to just to make it easier, put this in the uh, horizontal position. I'm going to place my ears about um, half an inch in, in space in between. So I have my first ear here. I'm going to flip it over. Uh, and when you have that prepped, uh, you're going to take it to the machine and you're going to baste the ears onto your front lower panel. Uh, you can sew with the 1 8 of an inch seam allowance and use a 3.5 stitch length. After your ears are based to your uh, front lower panel, now we're going to connect uh, our top panel. So you're going to make sure that uh, both fabrics are right sides together. And here you, you see my secret. This is the second time I'm doing it. As you can see, I had to uh, rip my seam. Not everything comes out perfectly the first time around. So if that ever happens to you, don't get discouraged. So now we're gonna be clipping the angled edge together. And when that's done, you're gonna take the project back to the machine and you're gonna sew, starting from this little top corner, sewing down with about one fourth of an inch seam allowance up to that point. And just remember to backstitch on the beginning and on the end of your seam. Now that your panels are connected, you're gonna open them and finger press the seam and when you have it finger pressed you can use iron to set the seam in place just make sure you are paying attention to your felt and do not iron on the wrong side of waterproof canvas and now that the panels are in the final position you're gonna top stitch along this uh, seam with the 1 8 of an inch seam allowance and 3.5 stitch length. now that the panels are top stitch we're gonna clean up the little corner also if you have any shift in your panels not to worry at all uh, just make sure you can trim it all around and that you're going to end up with a piece with the clean edges. That's all that it, that's important. And now that we have the final size of our panel, we can measure it to see what size exactly it is. Mine is four and a quarter by eight and a half. So now I'm going to use that measurements to cut out my back panel and my lining. Now that we have all our pieces cut, we can start on the fun part. Now I'm gonna create my antlers and the face of my reindeer. So I'm gonna take a piece of ribbon, about 18 inches, a needle with a bigger eye,
create a knot on the end of my ribbon and start uh, freehanding my antlers. So I'm gonna come out right here with the seam. And I, I have to remember that I still have to sew my zipper on, so you don't wanna go too close. Uh, I'm gonna come about a half an inch to three quarters of that top line. Now I'm gonna make sure it's a little loose because I wanna create some angles in my antlers. And I'm pulling, pulling on the initial uh, ribbon run. I'm gonna now create a, another branch of the uh, antlers. And I'm gonna continue freehand the uh, antlers. I think I'm happy with the way this one looks so I'm just gonna move on to creating the second one I think the ribbon worked great they don't have to be identical I think they still look cute and uh, I think it looks a little more uh, customized if they don't look like they came out out of factory uh, so now that we have the top of our head completed we're gonna work on our face features I have my nose and I think the second you put the nose on you know who you are talking about so just make sure you like the placement uh, I think this looks cute so I'm just gonna mark my placement and start sewing my buttons on and then move on to my beat. And now that we have our front panel uh, embellished, we gonna now attach uh, the other outer panel together along uh, this short edge. And when you have that prep to do the same with lining. So we're gonna have two long panels together. So we're gonna create one long lining panel. When you have both panels prepped like this, you're gonna take them to the machine and you're gonna sew along these edges with the 3 8 of an inch seam allowance and 3.5 stitch length, back stitch on the beginning and on the end of the seam. Now that I have my panels connected, I can start working on attaching my zipper. So I think I take the scrap of my zipper and this is 22 inches. Uh, I'm gonna fold my panel so the seam allowance is nice and flat behind the front panel. And making sure that the zipper tape is centered, I'm gonna start clipping it along the top edge.
now I'm gonna take two pins because I want to slip the tail of my zipper and I'm gonna measure three quarters of an inch and pin my zipper repeat that on the other side And now I'm gonna take my project back to the machine and I'm gonna baste my zipper on along the top edge, making sure I'm slipping my zipper tails. And I'm gonna be basting my zipper with the 1 8 of an inch seam allowance and I'm gonna be using 3.5 stitch length. Now that the zipper is based, as, and as you can see, I slipped the ends. And now I'm gonna attach my lining so because the lining is uh, seam, the front panel seam allowance is this way we want to fold the seam allowance of the lining in the other direction and start clipping making sure that the mitts uh, the seams align Again, you want to mark where the zipper is supposed to slip off your edge. And when you have your project prepped like this, you're going to take it back to the machine. And this time you're going to slip the zipper and sew from the edge to the edge with the one fourth of an inch seam allowance and 3.5 stitch length. Now that the lining is sewn in, we're gonna take our project and we're gonna make sure that all the seam allowances are behind the zipper tape and the, pan and the outer panels. You're gonna finger press it. You can use iron, just again, be careful on all your elements when you have your seam allowance pressed you're gonna take your project to the machine and making sure that all the seam allowances are folded behind your outer panel and your lining is up you're gonna top stitch along the seam with the 1 8 of an inch seam allowance and 3.5 stitch length from the side to the side now that the zipper is top stitched and as you can see in the uh, halfway through my stop stitching I changed my thread so it matches my other fabric you can do that if, if you are not super confident about your top stitching uh, so you don't have a light uh, thread color on your darker fabric that's what I like to do but now that I have that done uh, I'm gonna connect the other edges of my pouch so I'm going to fold my pouch right sides together. I'm going to make sure that I'm aligning my outer panels. And I'm going to tuck my zipper ends inside. And now I'm going to clip all my edges. Also, I want to make sure I'm going to leave an opening in my lining, so I'm going to mark that with pins. And when I have my project prepped like this, uh, I'm going to take it back to the machine and I'm going to start with sewing my outer panels together first to make sure that uh, the alignment of my panels on top won't shift. 
And this part, I'm going to be sewing at 3 eighths of an inch seam allowance, and I'm going to use 3.5 stitch length. And after that's done, I'm going to come back and sew my lining. I'm going to start with the same seam allowance up top, and I'm going to increase it slightly while I'm sewing towards the bottom of my lining and continue the slightly enlarged seam allowance on the bottom, making sure I'm leaving this part unsewn, that my zipper tails are not going to be caught in a seam and that I'm back stitching well, especially where my opening is. So take your project to the machine and sew the sides together. Now that our sides are sewn, we're going to trim our corners. And turn the project right side out. And now that your project is uh, right side out, like give it a inspection, make sure everything looks good. And if it does, you can finish up the lining. So tack on the unsew ends of the lining to make sure your fabric folds inside. Take it back to the machine and sew the opening and sew the opening close with the 1 8 of an inch seam allowance. If you are comfortable, you can use 1 16 seam allowance. Just make sure you are catching both sides of your lining. Now my lining is sewn close. I'm gonna pop it inside of my pouch. And now I'm gonna give it a press so it lies nice and flat inside. And now last thing to do is to finish up our zipper. So first we're gonna insert our zipper pull on. You wanna make sure it's folded in the middle so Make sure you have that marked. Make sure that your zipper is nice and in the middle and I think mine is a little off, so I'm gonna fix that. I think now it's good. So now I'm gonna trim my zipper to size and install my uh, zipper end cup. And now my little reindeer pencil case zipper pouch is ready to use. The, uh, our Christmas version uh, of our uh, pencil zipper pouch is ready to use. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Don't forget to go back to the original video for the bunny uh, pencil case to grab the pattern. It's free, you just have to follow the link in the description of that video and then follow my instructions in this video to create the um, reindeer version of that pouch. Uh, I hope you're gonna have some fun creating those pouches. Uh, you can really add any kind of uh, face uh, on the front of it and I would love to see what you come up with. So please make sure to share your creations with me on my Facebook group or on Instagram. Links to both are in the description box below. 
and to make sure you're not gonna miss any upcoming video hit the subscribe button and if you enjoyed this video give it a like till the next time